And I'm Ryan. And welcome to Capital E's Fairy Tale Adventures. We're so excited to have you join us. Yeah, thank you for coming. So, we're going to start off by doing a body warm up because we are actors and we need to warm up two things first, and that is our body and our voice before we're ready to go. So, as our body warm up, we're going to do one of my favourite warm ups, and it's called the butterfly warm up. Yes, sir. So, what is a butterfly before it's a butterfly? Do you know? Hmm. What is a butterfly before hmm. it is a butterfly? Yes! You're that's right. right! It's a wiggly wiggly caterpillar. Woo! So we start off this warm-up by wiggling around like caterpillars. And then, what is a butterfly before it's a butterfly, but after it's a caterpillar? I'm not sure. Hmm. Do you know? What is a butterfly before it's a butterfly, but after it's a caterpillar? You're right! It's a cocoon! Yeah! So, we're going to do tight little cocoons. And then after a cocoon, we turn into beautiful butterflies, don't we? So we're going to put all of those together now. We're going to start off as wriggly little caterpillars. Wriggle with me! Wow, good wriggling! And then we're going to turn into tight little chrysalises. And then... We spread out into big, beautiful butterflies. Wow! Flap, 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 flap. That was great. I'm feeling nicely <laughs> warmed up with my body. I'm but now go. we've got to warm up our voice. Ooh. And my favourite thing to do with my voice is to see how far I can throw it. And so we're going to do a howl. Oh! What animal makes the noise? A wolf! Oh, 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 oh I know. You know? I know. Yeah, yeah, it's a wolf. A wolf! Okay, Ryan, so you and I are going to do a howl, and you at home are going to do a howl as loud as you can, Sorry. and for as long as you can. Let's see if we can hear you. Are you ready, Ryan? Yeah. One, two, three, a, a wolf! <laughs> 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 well done, and I could hear you all at home as well. Yeah. Nice job. Hey, Ryan, mm. I think we're ready to begin. I think so too. So today we're going to be telling the story of... Little Red Riding Hood. Wow. And I will be playing... Little Red! Welcome to Little Red Riding Hood's video baking diary delight! I'm your host, Little Red Riding Hood. And today we are going to be making... Banana Muffins! Now I've got some really old brown bananas here that will be perfect for making muffins today. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is wash our hands. But I have already done that, just wanted to make sure that you were going to do it at home as well. And we're also going to start peeling our bananas. I've already started peeling some here, so let's get going with this one here. My dad has been asking me to do lots of chores at the moment. I hope he doesn't come in and tell me to do something while we're doing this. So let's start Loretta, peeling. Loretta. Yeah. Oh, hello, hello, Red. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, I'm just eating the muffin. I've got everything going on here. Dad, have oh. you been eating my banana muffins? Oh, yes, they're quite delicious. Dad, I'm actually talking to my friends online. Oh. I'm doing my video oh. making diaries. Oh. Hello. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you all. Dad, was there something that you wanted? Because we're kind of in the middle of something. Yes, actually. There was something that I wanted. And I want you to just pop the banana down for a moment. Thank you. Just pop the banana down. Come on, pop it down. Okay, so what I need you to do, Little Red, is I need you to go to your grandmother's house and take her a big basket full of food because it's very important in times like these that we look after people that need looking after and we need to look after grandma. Yes? That sounds like a really nice idea but I'm actually in the middle of something. My friends and I are going to be making banana muffins for uh -huh. Little Red Riding Hood's video baking diary delights. Okay, okay, okay. Well, well yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that after though. Yeah? First, I need you to take this wonderful picnic basket that I've got. I'll just grab the picnic basket. Okay. And I need you to fill it full of wonderful treats and then take it to Grandma down in their granny flat, okay? Okay, we can do that. Yes. We're lucky enough to have Grandma in our bubble, aren't we, Dad? Yes, we're very lucky indeed. Now, one more thing. Mm-hmm. When you go to your grandmother's house, you've got to take the long route all the way around the garden, not the short route through the garden. Because there's some big pickles in there, and I saw some wolf poo as well. Ugh. I know. But make sure you take the long route, not 
the short route. Okay, I mm -hmm. promise we'll be really, really safe. Thank you so much, little man. I've been doing so much around the house. I've been doing all the cooking and the cleaning and the scrubbing and the brushing and all those kinds of things. And it's fantastic that you're helping out by doing this. Okay, Dad. I'm really looking forward to seeing Grandma, but we'll see you later. I'll see you later. Bye, Dad. Goodbye, people of the internet. <laughs> okay, friends. The first thing we're going to do is pack our picnic basket. So let's think of things that Grandma would like. Oh, I know what she loves. She loves kumara. Do you like kumara? Yeah? What kind of things would you pack in your picnic baskets? What yummy treats do you think that Grandma would like? Oh, maybe some leftover hot cross buns. Yeah, I think she'd like those. We could also have lunch together. I really love sandwiches and I think Grandma would love a sandwich too. So I'll put a loaf of bread in there as well. And maybe some jam for the jam sandwich. Radio, I think we're ready to go on our little adventure. But I don't want to go around the long way. We've got to do our video baking diary and that takes too long. So shh, I might go around the short way. Don't tell Dad. I'll see you very soon, friends. Come along. La 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 la. I'm on my way to Grandma's granny flat with my lovely picnic basket filled with goodies that you helped me pack. Well, we get... <laughs> Can you hear that noise? <laughs> I hear a noise coming from over here. And then I stepped in it, and it must be one of those nasty human traps because it just clung onto my finger and I couldn't get it off. It was very scary. Well, actually, it's just a washing pig, but you'll know for ah, next time. I will it? Yeah. Oh, I'm not trapped. No, you could have actually just pulled <laughs> it off really quickly. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm going to be on my way oh, now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Thank you so much for helping me. Is there a way that I might be able to help you? Um, well, you would. Actually, you were talking about some lovely flowers. I could pick some flowers for my grandma. I'm sure she'd like that. We're on her, my way to her house. Oh, grandmas are delicious. I really like grandmas. Well, you could you could possibly pick her some of the flowers that I was going to pick from oh, over there. That's a very nice idea. Yeah. Thank and you then, so oh, actually, I could show you a way to get to your grandma's house. It's really, really quick. Oh, that would be lovely. Should I go pick the flowers yeah, first? Pick some flowers okay. first. La, 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 la. Okay. Hello, and welcome to Mr. Wolf's video diary number one. Today, I am going to be having some dinner, which is Little Red and now Little Red's grandma. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run ahead with my wolf speed, ahead of Little Red to her grandma's house, and I'm going to gobble up her grandma. And then I'm going to wait until Little Red arrives, and then I'll gobble her up too, all of my dinner. It'll be delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, here she comes. I picked some lovely flowers. Oh, Thank you so much for the beautiful. suggestion. Wow. Now you were going to show me a shortcut to get to Grandma's. Oh, indeed I was. <laughs> so just take the path over that way, the yeah. short one down the side of the house. And that means you don't have to go all the way around. Oh, that's such a great idea. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Wolf. Oh, Bye. You're very welcome. Come on, Bye. Friends. See you later. Hello, and welcome to Mr. Wolf's video diary number two. I've gone ahead with my plan and used my wolf speed to run ahead of Red to her grandma's house. And I've gobbled up grandma, I'm feeling very full. And now I'm waiting for little Red to arrive. I've practiced my grandma voice just to see if I can get by her. This is it. Hello, I'm grandma. I think I'm definitely gonna fool her. Oh, oh, oh. Grandma! Did you hear that? That's her. Places everybody. Okay. Hello, Grandma. Ah, oh, hello, little Red. How are you? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. I bought you some flowers. Oh, oh. oh and oh, my dear. friends and I even oh. packed you a picnic basket filled with lots of yummy goodies. 
Oh, I love you are indeed an angel. <laughs> oh, I love your daughter. This just brings a, a tear to my eye, it does. Oh, oh you yeah. lovely soul. Do you know what I love? Yeah. I love a cup of tea. And then how about we unpack this picnic basket and see what's inside it. <laughs> okay, Grandma, I'll put the kettle on. Oh, she's actually quite lovely, isn't she? I've got a bit of a moral dilemma, my friends. Should I eat Little Red? Or should I just sit down for lunch with her like she's a friend? <sighs> I am quite hungry, so I think I'm going to go with the first option. I think I'm going to go with lunch and like a grandma. I'm glad we decided that over that moral dilemma. But okay, maybe... Grandma, here's uh, your oh, cup of tea. Yeah. And oh, shall we wonderful. open up this picnic basket? Oh, yes, please. Okay, <laughs> well, inside of this picnic basket, oh. I got you a Kumara! Oh, wow, look at that! Isn't that a funny little thing? And I got you some leftover hot cross buns! Oh yeah, it's always good to give leftovers as a gift, isn't it? <laughs> and I also thought that you and I could have a sandwich together. Oh my dear, what a lovely thing. <laughs> I'll get making that right away! Oh, thank you, thank you! What have you got to put in it? Okay, Grandma, how do you feel about mm -hmm. jam? I love jam. Yes, that'd be delicious. Grandma. Yep. What big hands you have. Oh, 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 all the better to, to hug you with, <laughs> my dear. <laughs> oh, thank you, Grandma. Yes. Now, Grandma, how many pieces of bread would you like today? Would you like one or two? Thank you, thank you, my dear. Grandma. Yes. What big eyes you have. Oh, oh, well, all the better to see you, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll just get making that now with some jam on it. La 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 la. Okay, a little bit of jam, Grandma. Uh, a lot. A little, little bit, thank hey. you. Okay, here's your sandwich. Grandma, uh, what big teeth you have. Oh, well, all the better to eat you with, my dear. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I mean, two things. First of all, thank you so much for saving my life. I mean, I really appreciate it because you saved me not only from that nasty human trap, but then also from, from choking. And, and the second thing is, is I'm sorry. I really am. I mean, I, I'm sorry for Eating your grandma mm. and then regurgitating her. Yeah. And also for trying to eat you. Why did you do that? I helped you earlier. Well, it's just... There's a lot of pressure being a big bad wolf, you know. I've got a bit of a reputation to uphold and... I mean, if I didn't eat the old person here or there, then the other big bad wolves might laugh at me and mm. say I'm not much of a bad wolf at all. And... But... But... You were so lovely to me today, Little Red, and it's really made me see the error of my ways. Because I can be kind to people and make a difference. I don't have to just be a big bad wolf. I could be a little lovely wolf. Yeah. And that's, that's why today, Red, I want to make a promise to you. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to make a promise to you, Little Red. That I am no longer going to eat grandmas. No, 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 sorry. I'm no longer going to eat people. From now on, I am strictly a vegetarian wolf. Oh, wow! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you know what? I'm going to start right now. Right now? Right now. With this cumulus. <gasps> yep, watch this. Right. <laughs> now Mr. I'm not wolf, no? you mean to cook the cumulus first? <laughs> <laughs> You silly thing. What did I do? <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you, and I'm glad we've helped you overcome your moral dilemma. Now, I've got to go see if my grandma's okay. 
Thank you so much, little Reb. Thank you. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Bye! Let's go check in on Grandma. Come over here, Grandma. Oh, thank you, dear. Oh, thank you, thank you. Are you okay? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, do you know what? It was quite a terrifying experience. I heard a knock on the door and then I was just gobbled up and gone. Oh, it was very scary. Well, thankfully that big bad wolf is gone and he's not a big bad wolf any longer. Oh. He's a good wolf oh. and a vegetarian. Oh, perfect. Do you know what this highlights, though? It shows us how important it is to check in on people. Very important, especially at this time. Oh, yes. And Grandma, we were doing just that. My friends and I, we packed a picnic basket just for you. Oh, my goodness, my very own picnic basket. And it's filled with lots of yummy goodies. Oh, there's food in it, too. <laughs> oh, delicious. <laughs> Grandma, we're so lucky to have you in our bubble. Oh. Thank you very much, little Red. Lovely to have you here too. And I'm now, glad everything worked out okay. Mm -hmm. Shall we have a picnic? <gasps> Great idea. Lovely. Come on, friends. Let's go have a yummy picnic together. Mm -hmm.